Did you know that the state with the highest unemployment rate in the United States is not a state at all, but the District of Columbia? That's right. The heart of our nation, where the decisions that shape our lives are made, faces the harshest reality of unemployment. It's a curveball, isn't it? But let's not stop there. As of September 2023, the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics has revealed some unexpected contenders in the top 10 states with the highest unemployment rates. Nevada tops the chart with a rate of 5.4%, followed by the District of Columbia at 5%, and California, the land of dreams, at 4.7%. Illinois and New Jersey tie at 4.4%, with Oregon, New York, Delaware, Colorado, and Hawaii trailing not far behind. But wait, these numbers aren't seasonally adjusted, so they don't account for the usual ups and downs we see throughout the year. For instance, during winter, people are more likely to be laid off from seasonal jobs, which can cause a spike in the unemployment rate. Unemployment doesn't happen in a vacuum, it's the result of a complex interplay of factors. A declining economy, a mismatch of skills between workers and employers, a lack of job opportunities in certain industries, and a high cost of living can all contribute to a state's high unemployment rate. It's easy to get lost in the statistics, but let's remember that each number represents a person, a family, a story. People grappling with unemployment may struggle to pay their bills, find affordable housing, or provide for their families. It's a reality that many Americans face every day. Unemployment isn't just about numbers, it's about people, and the effects can be devastating. So, as we delve deeper into this issue, let's keep in mind the human faces behind these figures. Let's remember that these are not just statistics, but real people facing real challenges. And it's up to all of us to understand, empathize, and seek solutions. But what causes these high unemployment rates? It's a combination of factors. Let's start with the economy. When the economy takes a downturn, companies often find themselves having to let go of employees, leading to a surge in unemployment. States like Nevada and the District of Columbia, for example, have seen their economies hit hard by dips in tourism and government spending, respectively. Next up is the lack of job opportunities in certain industries. When an industry that's a major employer in a state starts to decline, the unemployment rate shoots up. In states like California and Illinois, the decline of manufacturing and tech industries has left many without jobs. Now, let's talk about skill mismatch. This happens when the skills of the available workforce don't match what employers are looking for. In states like New Jersey and Oregon, there's a significant gap between the skills job seekers have and the skills employers need. This mismatch can lead to sustained high unemployment rates. Another important factor is the high cost of living. In states like New York and Delaware, the cost of living is so high that many people can't afford to take low-paying jobs. This, in turn, can lead to higher unemployment rates as people hold out for higher-paying positions. Lastly, we need to consider seasonal employment. Some states see their unemployment rates fluctuate throughout the year due to the nature of their dominant industries. Colorado and Hawaii, for instance, have tourism industries that often employ people on a seasonal basis, leading to higher unemployment rates in the off-season. So, you see, there's no one-size-fits-all explanation for high unemployment rates. Each state has its own unique set of circumstances that contribute to its unemployment situation. It's clear that tackling unemployment is a complex issue, requiring a multifaceted approach. Each state needs to address the specific factors contributing to its high unemployment rate. Only then can we hope to see a substantial decrease in these numbers and a brighter future for job seekers across the country. High unemployment rates don't just affect individuals, they have a ripple effect on communities and the economy. When unemployment rates climb, the effects are far-reaching, impacting not just those who have lost their jobs, but also the communities in which they live. The consequences can be profound and often extend beyond the immediate financial struggles that come with job loss. Imagine a bustling community where businesses are thriving and suddenly job losses surge. The once vibrant community begins to falter. The local shops that once thrived on customers now face dwindling sales as people cut back on spending. This can lead to a vicious cycle. As businesses struggle, they may need to lay off employees, which in turn increases the unemployment rate even further. The effects of high unemployment also extend to the housing market. When individuals lose their jobs, they may struggle to keep up with mortgage or rent payments. In the worst cases, this can lead to increased rates of foreclosure or eviction, resulting in a rise in homelessness. 
This not only impacts the individuals and families who lose their homes, but also puts additional strain on social services and shelters. And let's not forget about the effects on families. The stress of job loss and financial insecurity can strain relationships, leading to higher rates of divorce and family breakdown. Children in these families may experience increased anxiety and poor academic performance. A high unemployment rate can also lead to a rise in crime rates, as individuals may turn to illicit activities out of desperation. In short, high unemployment rates can trigger a cascade of negative effects, impacting everything from local businesses to family stability. It's a sobering reminder that the health of our economy is intricately linked to the well-being of our communities. So, what can be done to combat high unemployment rates? This question resonates in the hearts of many and has been the focus of countless discussions. The answer lies in the actions that state and federal governments can take to reduce unemployment. And, believe it or not, they have quite a few options up their sleeve. For starters, governments can invest in job training programs. Such programs are crucial in equipping the workforce with the necessary skills to meet the demands of employers. By addressing the mismatch between the skills of the workforce and the skills demanded by employers, job training programs can significantly reduce unemployment rates. Next, governments can provide tax breaks to businesses that create jobs. These incentives can encourage businesses to hire more employees, thereby reducing the unemployment rate. It's a win-win situation. Businesses can grow and prosper, whilst job seekers can find employment. Another strategy is to raise the minimum wage. By doing so, governments can make work more attractive and motivate people to seek employment. In turn, this can lead to a decrease in the unemployment rate. Governments can also expand access to affordable childcare. This move can allow more parents, particularly mothers, to join the workforce, thereby reducing the unemployment rate. Lastly, governments can invest in infrastructure projects. Such projects can create a multitude of jobs ranging from construction to engineering. Not only do these projects provide employment opportunities, but they also stimulate economic growth by improving transportation, communication, and other vital aspects of a country's infrastructure. In conclusion, governments have the power to significantly reduce unemployment rates through a variety of strategies. From investing in job training programs and providing tax breaks to businesses to raising the minimum wage and expanding affordable childcare, the options are numerous. And let's not forget about infrastructure projects, which can create jobs and stimulate economic growth. With the right strategies and investments, it's possible to reduce unemployment and create a more robust economy. So let's push forward and strive for a future with more opportunities for everyone. Welcome to my channel, my name is Mort. It's a pleasure to have your company on this journey through the realities and intricacies of our world. Here we delve into the issues that matter from unemployment rates to job-seeking strategies and everything in between. This is Mort's world, a place where we peel back the layers of the ordinary to reveal the extraordinary. Our mission is to enlighten, inspire, and empower you with knowledge. And we do this by exploring a wide array of topics that impact our lives on a daily basis. In our upcoming episodes, we'll continue to shed light on the complexities of the job market. We'll explore how to navigate job searches in high unemployment states, strategies for standing out in competitive industries, and tips for upskilling to meet the demands of the evolving workforce. We'll also delve into the world of entrepreneurship, exploring how one can take control of their economic destiny by starting a business. We'll share inspiring stories of individuals who have turned adversity into opportunity and provide practical advice on how to follow in their footsteps. In Mort's world, we believe that knowledge is power, and we're committed to equipping you with the information you need to make informed decisions about your career and your life. So, if you've found our content enlightening and valuable, why not become a part of our ever-growing community by liking, sharing, and subscribing? You're not only supporting our efforts to bring you quality content, but you're also ensuring that you never miss out on an episode. Remember, your engagement helps us to reach more people and together we can create a ripple effect of knowledge and empowerment. So, are you ready to explore more of Mort's world? We can't wait to embark on this journey with you. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of Explore Mort's world. Let's continue to learn, grow, and thrive together.